Hi, it's Hannah here from Grounded Life and this video aims to introduce you and guide you through a short practice of conscious connected breathing. So you may have already tried conscious breath work or conscious connected breathing, or you may be thinking about doing so. This video just aims as a gentle introduction to the practice. So you can feel more familiar and comfortable with a breathing technique that doesn't always come naturally. The practice is about 15 to 20 minutes long, so make sure that you really have carved out time for yourself, that you have a safe space to breathe, and that you're unlikely to be disturbed. And likewise, at the end of the video, please make sure that you take a moment to ground yourself and feel fully grounded before you go on about your day. I hope that you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when more breathing practices are posted. Enjoy the breath, enjoy your breath and please post in the comment box of how you found it. Maybe even one word of how you feel after you've done the breathing practice. Happy breathing. Before we get started, let's just go through a few things first. First of all, how this breathing pattern actually looks. So we're inviting the breath through an open mouth and we're gonna do the practice seated. So find a comfortable place to sit. There are three things to remember when doing this practice. Number one, we are following the breath. The breath leads this practice. It is at the center of it. Number two, our focus, our attention. When we bring our mind and our body into the same place, then significant shifts can occur. I know the mind is really easily distracted. We are masters of distraction. So that can be challenging at times, but just recommit your focus to come back to the breath, come back to the body. Number three is something called felt sense or another way of describing it is the, the language of sensation. This invitation is to really take your attention inside the physical body and you're always sort of looking in your internal environment for sensations that live in the body whether that is um, it's physical but whether that's uh, emotional whether that's energetic whether that's muscular any sensations that are happening in the body you just want to be aware of with your focus using your breath as the vessel to take you there so the breath is really the bridge to access these inner parts of us and it's through this act of doing, through this act of reconnecting with ourselves that really supports our nervous system to regulate. It really stimulates many of the bodily systems. We're really nourishing our bodies by oxygenating our system. And how do we do that? We simply bring in more air. So the inhale of this breath practice is perhaps a little bit more than you would habitually breathe in. The inhale is kind of like a yes, like a like an expanse. We're bringing the breath right in down into the diaphragm, into the lower lungs. Now, if you just take a second to just breathe normally, and just notice where you're breathing, you might find, as many people, including myself, when I'm not co sort of consciously connecting to the practice, that we can habitually tend to breathe in the upper chest, even sort of up in the shoulders, bre breathing like this. And what we're really inviting in this practice is to take the breath in lower, in deeper, fuller and deeper. So you can place your hands here on the tummy or the ribs, just at the bottom of the ribs, to really encourage the breath to come in further. Expand. We are gonna be breathing through an open mouth. It looks a little bit like that. 
So as the inhale is this kind of yes, bringing in more air, probably about, you know, to 80%, then the exhale is this release. It's a complete let go. You just let the breath kind of fall out of you. It's a surrender. And then you pick it right up again with that inhale. And then you let the exhale go. You pick it up with the inhale, expand, and you really soften with the exhale. So it's a little bit like a wave, a wave coming into the body and a wave going out. And you connect the breaths. So there's no pause at the top and there's no pause at the bottom. It's a circular breath. It's gentle, but it is purposeful. And make sure you are breathing, okay? Make sure that you are breathing. So before we go on, if you've had any severe cardiovascular issues, recent heart problems, epilepsy, if you're pregnant, if you're on any antipsychotic medication, there is an option to just breathe through the nose. I would highly recommend that you check with your doctor before doing any of these practices, but you breathe through the nose anyway to, to live in your everyday. So if you just want to sit with the practice, allow the music to bathe you, allow uh, my guided word um, to, to also add to the experience, but you just want to breathe through the nose, that's as you normally do, that's absolutely fine. The most important thing is, is that you feel safe. So start with a breathing pattern that embodies that for you. So whether that is through the nose, you know, we're going to find a place of resource in the body in a moment, but we always start from a place that feels grounded because you can always build from that place. The more grounded you are, the more you can grow. So know that there's no rush to do anything in these practices and just this is all about really listening to yourself. And we can do this through the nose, through the mouth. The point is bringing the attention in, using the breath, using this language of sensation, and really getting to, really getting familiar with, with yourself, with your intuition. And you'll soon know whether you want to go um, to an open mouth breath, you know, because you really are the captain of your own ship. So we really employ self-responsibility in these practices always start with something where you feel really safe um, and in control and we just grow from there we just grow from that place so gently closing the eyes let's find our place of resource first taking a few soft breaths in and out through the nose finding a place in the body that feels good. Finding a place in the body that feels grounded, that feels safe and good, that feels like home. And maybe when I said that your attention instinctively went somewhere in the body, and maybe not, but either way, give yourself a moment to scan the body. So go all the way from the feet, all the way up the legs, all the way up in the arms, all the way to the very top of the head and choose a place in the body that can be your place of resource for this session. It might be in the hips, it might be the tummy, it might be the heart, uh, the head, the hands, anywhere. Take your attention there. Once you've decided, really go with what, where, where feels good and just gently put your hand there. I'm gonna use my tummy feels good in this moment so I'm gonna choose that for this practice so once you found your place put your hand there and we're just going to take a couple of breaths into this space so you're taking a breath into this space really breathe with it breathe into this space and just notice how that feels And when you breathe in, just imagine this space just expands a little bit, like that balloon getting blown up. And then as you exhale, it just rests. The inhale, it expands, and the exhale, it rests into the place of resource for you. And if you had to describe in one word how breathing into this place felt for you, what one word would that be? It should be something comforting. 
If it's not, then maybe that's not your place of resource. So maybe you just need to scan the body and really find that place that feels good within you. And now we're gonna begin the practice. So gently close your eyes and drop the jaw or, or breathe through the nose if you've decided to do that. But if you're committing to the open mouth breath, then allow the jaw to drop, relax the face and start to breathe. Connecting the breaths. The inhale about 60% and the exhale about 40%. You're just letting exhale fall out of the body. No effort there. If you need support in bringing the breath into the lower lungs more, place your hands at the bottom of the ribs or your tummy and breathe into your hands. Feel the abdomen move under your hands. Breathe into the belly and the chest follows. Taking your attention inwards. Start to notice what it actually feels like to breathe. Can you feel the breath? The emphasis is on the inhale. And we are inhaling more deeply and fully and the exhale is this wonderful opportunity to just relax, really relax into the exhale, let go into the exhale. This seated position helps us to remain rooted and present. Following the wave of the breath. If you're following the wave of the breath, some movement can start to happen. Some movement of the torso and the shoulders and the neck can start to naturally happen. And the more you relax into this breathing pattern, the more potential there is for this movement. Perhaps some gentle spiraling or a wave-like motion. The movement comes from the bottom up, like the wave arising. And there's no specific plane that this movement needs to be on. Just go where, wherever you feel to, but always follow the breath, a bit like a dance partner. The breath is the dance partner and you're learning to dance with the breath. So just follow, following the breath. And this is an exploration of letting go. And this isn't always easy. You can come up against control patterns that have been in place forever. So just notice this, notice the resistance, notice any feelings of uncomfortability and know that it's really safe to be in the body and it's safe to feel as well. Know that even if you do feel uncomfortable, that it's possible to feel uncomfortable and find safety in the body at the same time. And bring your attention to your resource. This is the place to come back to that feeling of safety and groundedness. But continue to breathe, stay with your breath, stay with your dance partner. Feeling the whole experience from the inside. You're really not doing anything but following the breath. When you're ready, you can make your way to lying down. Continue to breathe in this way, riding the wave of your own breath. Perhaps invite a little sound on your next exhale. Invite the sigh. Find your place of resource. Take a couple of breaths into this place with this place.
breathing in this way connects with many of the body's systems and functions. It changes the chemistry of your blood. It begins to fire up your nervous system. In fact, changing the way we breathe has an immediate effect on the way that you feel. If you have any tingles in the hands or a dry throat or any dizziness, just know that this is perfectly normal and just to breathe with that. Know that you can move the hands and the fingers a little bit. Don't let any of the wave-like movement get stuck in the back of the neck. Just notice if there's any tension there, perhaps move the head just a little bit. Let all movement be really conscious and really careful. Let it be connected. If you do feel a bit dizzy, really soften that exhale. Do not force the exhale. Just let it go. Let it release. Taking the breath and washing it all through the body, bathing in the softness and fullness of your connected breath. Find your place of resource. Take a couple of breaths into this place with this place. Listen to the body. Are there any parts of your body that are communicating with you through sensation? Bring the breath back through the nose. Notice how that feels and the freshness of this new breath coming back through the nose. And when you're ready, you roll on to your side. Give yourself a hug. And stay here as long as you like. But what's always really beautiful to close the practice is to bring your attention to something, someone, that you feel really grateful for. Thank you so much for joining me for this breathwork practice, this consciously connected breath. And know that if anything, any sensations came up for you, if any feelings came up for you, this is really normal. It's really good practice to welcome the sensations that arise. We often try and avoid or disconnect with feeling and breathing like this, it really connects us with feeling. And there can be a whole spectrum of things to feel. If you have any questions or want to get in touch, please email me, reach out. I'm on hannah at grounded.life, H-A-N-N-A-H at grounded.life.